See, each one of these will be a 30 second effort to get us moving this morning. All right, here we go. Side punches back to it. Go. This is definitely more of a dynamic warm up today. Get the blood flow happening. Maybe even work up a little bit of a sweat here. All right, in five seconds, go back to your marches. Three, two, one, march it out. We go 10 seconds and we'll go back to those punches. Three, Two, one, side punches. All right, three, two, one, rest. So let your arms relax by your side. Let's go into our head nods up and down, chin to chest, nose to ceiling. All right, shake your heads no. Looking to the left, to the right. From there, big head circles. We're going to switch directions and switch again and one more switch. All right. We'll shake that out. Shoulder shrugs up and down. Pull those shoulders up to your ears. All right, and lift and roll to the front. And reverse those shoulder rolls. Good. We're gonna take our hands, bring them up in front of our face. Our halos, draw a halo around your head. Face it around your head there. All right, on this last one, keep your hands behind your head. You are under arrest. From here, we will pinch our elbows together and then open up. That's it. Pinch your elbows together, open up. Pinch, open up the chest. And from here, we're gonna bring our arms out to the side. We go like an airplane, little lateral leans, one way to the other. Stop in the middle, 
and come to the other side. And then one more. Uh, there you go. Start marching in place for me again. This time, we will alternate reaching up to the sky, upward punches with your high knees. Good. From our upward punches, we're going to do an alternating softball toss. So take a step forward and toss your ball up. Bring it back, switch sides, step forward, toss up, get a little underhand softball pitch, take a big step, roll up your floater, come on back, toss it up, good. All right, back to our high knees with our upward punches. Think about that contralateral movement. So my right hand's up, my left knee is up. Left hand, right knee. There we go. Keep working. Awesome, and switch back to our softball toss. Big step with your right foot, big toss with your left hand. Opposite side, step and toss. Good. There we go. Great job. All right, gang, here we go. Go ahead and rest. So now we will all make our way down to the ground. Okay. So when you come down to the ground, let's have our toes on the ground, our knees on the ground, and our hands on the ground. We're going to start crawling. So from here, depending on how much space that you have, we're gonna take three steps forward, one, two, three, and three steps backwards. One, two, three, okay? So we are crawling back and forth. To make this even more challenging, if you are able and you want to increase your intensity, you can just pick your knees up off the ground very slightly and then crawl forward. One, two, three, one, two, Three. All right. Here we go. Let's start crawling in three, two, one, go. Working on our crawls here. Let's turn this way for you. So one, two, three. One, two, three. It's that same contralateral pattern as when we're walking. When we practice those high knees. I told you guys these will be longer efforts today. And keep working. Fifteen seconds, and when I say rest, 
You're gonna go over to your backs. In three, two, one. Good, rest, rest, rest. So now you are on your bottoms. Our next movement is a dead bug. So I'm gonna lay on my back. My legs are in the air and my arms are in the air. When I extend my left leg, I'm gonna extend my right arm, come back up. Right leg, left arm goes back over the head and back up, okay? Again, contralateral patterns today. Ready, set, go. Make sure that lower back is on the ground. Take your time here. Get arms up in the air. Stretch those legs out. Good, good, good. It's one of those movements where you don't need to rush. Good. Squeeze those muscles in your belly. Make sure that lower back is touching the ground. Go 15 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one, rest. Good. From here, we go into a glute bridge. So you are still on your backs. Your feet will be flat on the ground. And from here, you will watch as I press my hips up to the sky. So I'm going to drive through my feet to punch my hips up and then bring my hips down. Drive through the punch and then control all the way down. Ready, go. We call these glue bridges. There we go. Awesome. Have your hands, the palms of your hands on the ground. Your feet are flat on the ground. Press up and down. Here we go, 15 more seconds here. This is gonna be a shorter effort. All right, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. You guys are ready, we're gonna roll it back over. Get ready for some more crawling. All right, gang, when I say go, you're gonna go back to that crawling pattern. So your knees can be on the ground or your knees can be slightly lifted off the ground. Three steps forward, three steps back. Ready, set, and crawl. Crawl, crawl, crawl. And remember, if you want to make it more challenging, you can pick your knees up off the ground slightly. Just let them float over the ground. Good, gang. Yes. Try to keep your hips low for me. Good job, good job. All right, 15 seconds on our crawls. And five, four, 
three, two, one. Let's flip it over to our back sides. Fantastic. All right. Here we go. In 10 seconds, you guys go back to your dead bug pattern, your dynamic dead bug. Hang on your back, arms in the air. Reach one leg out, left leg out, right arm back. Move the right leg out, left arm back. Nice and slow. Remember, we're not looking to rush through this one. Take your time. Take your time. If I can see everybody. Good gang. Good, good, good. Yep. Left arm, right leg. Right arm, left leg. Awesome, let's finish that one up. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Remember after the rest, we're staying on the ground, staying on our backs. Three, two, one, and rest. Amazing, amazing. Okay. In 10 seconds. Let's finish off our ground series with our glute bridge raise, okay? Ready, sit, and go. Hands and feet on the ground, knees are bent. Pressing up through our heels to lift our hips up and then bring them back down to the ground. Remember, this is a shorter effort here, shorter effort. We go 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest and rest my friends okay all right come on up to your feet take your time stand up to your feet that's it stand up the right way All right, gang, our next movement. I like to think of this one as a Charlottesville favorite. I'll let you guys be the judge of that, but this next movement, we call them up-downs, and we usually do these for an extended period of time. All right, you will still need your mats on the ground, though. You'll still need your mats probably for your knees here. Don't put those guys away yet. So our up-downs. Let's get a better view here. All right. So our up downs. We're gonna do a reverse lunge all the way down to the ground. Bring that front leg behind you, and then bring a foot back in front of you, and stand all the way up. And then you repeat that effort. Reverse lunge down. Open the hips to bring the leg behind you. Open up. And then stand up. If you do have knee problems and that's too much pressure on your knees, 
then you can just perform your reverse lunges. Maybe you need a little assistance. You can have a railing or a countertop or a couch to help you stand back up. But we are practicing that standing to tall kneeling position. Everyone with me? Yep. All right. I will say go, and then you will stop when I say rest. This movement is not to be rushed, okay? Think balance and strength, working together in coordination. Set, go. Take your time. A little bit out of time. Open up my hips, bring them around, pressure into that front leg to help me stand up. Reverse lunge, tall kneeling position. Open the hips uh, through the heel of that front foot to help yourself stand up. ourselves a moving truck here. You guys are moving really well. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, Rick, nice background, buddy. Looks like you're doing up downs in the mountains over there. Yeah. How are we feeling out there? You guys look happy to be doing up downs. <laughs> Nadira, I didn't hear what you said, but if I could read lips. <laughs> and rest. Oh, yeah. All right. Go away. I'll go to the computer. All right. So before anybody says anything crazy, you are unmuted. Uh, <laughs> how was that? <laughs> Was that good for everyone, especially for those who had not done those for that length of time? I see our Razorbacks are shaking our legs out over there. <laughs> That's how it was. How was how it? Do you miss those? JoJo's talking to you. He said, how was that? How was it? The, the, uh, what up, you just up, did, up, the yeah, up oh, yeah. That was good. Yeah. That okay. was good. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, that was good. We All right, gang, here we go. Let's get moving. We are now going to move into one minute working efforts, followed by 30 seconds of rest, okay? And I'll call them out for you. So the first movement will be simple skipping rope, skipping rope. And we get ready to go. And three, skipping rope. And two, one. So you have your imaginary jump rope. You can do a light little hop off the ground. Good. Skipping rope. That's right. And if you have your own jump rope, feel free to break that guy out. Here we go. 30 seconds. Good, good. Good. 
Here we go, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome, 30 seconds break, we go into squats. So if you have a dumbbell, a kettlebell, a medicine ball available, it's a good time to pull that out. But we're either gonna go body weight squats or loaded squats in 15 seconds. Okay, gang, 10 seconds, you've got squats. If you have any resistance you wanna add, feel free to do so. Ready. Yo. Remember, it is a one minute work effort, followed by 30 seconds to rest. If you have some type of resistance that you can use, pull it on down if you're ready for that. That's it, that's it. You are halfway, halfway. Fifteen seconds on those squats. Rest. All right, gang, we go into shadow boxing next. Shadow boxing, one minute effort. Here we go, 10 seconds. Make sure your weights are out of the way before you start shadow boxing. Ready, go. That's it. Go. Remember, we want to see full extension, big movements on those punches. Rotate your hips into your punches. That's it. You are past halfway. Let's keep those punches going. Ten seconds. Two, one, rest. Good. Our next movement is called a suitcase deadlift. We've got a lot of deadlifts with our hands going down between our feet. This time we're gonna bring our stance in closer, push our hips back, pretend like we're reaching down to pick up a suitcase on both sides of our body. Suitcase deadlifts. Hands outside of your body, ready, go. Suitcase, pick it up. Use your hips to pick it up off the ground. Use your hips to put it back down on the ground. There we go. You're at the bottom of your deadlift. I should not be able to see the back of your head. Look out, still be able to see what's out in front of you. Fifteen seconds. Good. Fantastic. Rest. Okay, gang, here we go. Run and punch, run and punch. Remember, you're jogging in place, and you're punching out in front of you. Run and punch. All 
All right, we have five seconds. Ready, set, go. That's it, that's it. Keep those feet chopping. You're halfway, come on. That's it, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. We'll keep it moving, good. One, two, one, two, high knees, pick them up, 10 seconds. That's it, gang. Three, two, one, rest. All right, so on this last effort, if you have a countertop, tabletop of some sort, and you wanna hold on to just like this for a modified plank, you can do that. Otherwise, you're gonna come down to the ground for a plank. Five seconds. Get ready to head down to the ground. Ready, set, go. Plank it out, plank it out. You can be on your hands, you can be on your elbows, your forearms. Yeah, we're trying to keep a neutral spine there. And you can always add an additional modification by coming down to your knees. Shift your weight over your hands. Good gang, good, good, good. And rest. All right, come on up to your feet. Good. Take a quick break here. Get some water. Wipe that sweat off. All right. How's everybody doing? You all feeling good? Awesome. Awesome. Okay, gang, here we go. Pull those jump ropes back out. Let's get ready to move. Okay. We go back to our skipping rope. Back to our skipping rope. Remember, you want to stay light on your feet. Everybody back. I can see some of you. All right, gang. Ah, there we go. 10 seconds, skipping rope. 10 seconds back to skipping rope. Pull them out if you got them. Down to five seconds. Ready, go. Sit, stay light on your feet. Making circles from the elbows. Flip that rope over. Here we go, halfway. Keep moving. 
Think about staying on the balls of our feet. We can shift our weight side to side. Good. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Fantastic. We go back to our squats. Fifteen seconds. Back to our squats. Remember, body weight option. Grab your kettlebell or your dumbbell, medicine ball, some type of a resistance if you like that as well. Ready, squat. You can also increase the intensity here by seeing how many squats can you knock out in 60 seconds. That's it. Good gang, yes. Keep it going, halfway, halfway. Fifteen seconds. Good. All right, we'll finish those out. Rest. Good, good, good. We go walk it out. Fifteen seconds. We're back in with our shadow boxing. Get those weights out the way first. Give yourself some room to move. Two, one, go. Twenty seconds. Good, here we go. Five, four, three, two, rest. Yep, yep, yep. Deadlifts are next. Suitcase deadlifts, hands out to our sides. All right, gang, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. All right, red, go. Bring those feet right underneath your hips. And hinge your hips, hinge at the hips, push them back, reach down. Pick up your suitcase, pick up your bag of groceries. Here we go. Here we go at the bottom of that deadlift. I want you to be able to see what's out in front of you. Be able to see what's around you. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Good, good. You got three, two, one, rest. All right, this round. This round we go run and punch. With our running punches for this round, we're gonna punch upwards. 
All right. So here, on your run and punch, 10 seconds. Ready. Set. Punch it up. Go. Said punch it up towards the sky. Get them on up there. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. That's it. Marching punch, running punch, high knees and punch. Good. We've got 30 seconds, crew. 30 seconds. Here we go. Last time on this one. Here we go, 15 seconds. We got five. And rest. Good. Here we go, we're headed back down to the ground, right? We've got our round the planks. Control breathing, work your way to the ground. And we've got planks. 10 seconds. Ready, plank it out. Controlled breathing here. Fill your belly up. And get out. Pull it in through the nose. Empty out. That's good. Hey, 15 seconds. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. Five seconds. Three. Two, one, rest. Awesome. If you're already on the ground, stay on the ground. If you're now standing up, give yourself a couple seconds and then we're gonna work our way back down. So we started off with those up downs, right? But sometimes we're not as fresh when we need to get up and down from the ground. So now that we are a little bit more fatigued, we're gonna go back to those up downs, practice getting up and getting down from the ground to finish off, okay? Because we don't have the luxury of being as fresh as we were when we started class today. So now that you're tired, we're gonna practice that again from a more fatigued state. Are we ready? Thumbs up. You ready for anything? All right, get yourself ready to go. I'll count you down here. This be a good time to pull that mat back out if you need to, and put yourself in a position where you got some assistance. Five seconds. One more round of up downs. Ready, go. Our goal here is quality stand-ups, quality over quantity. If you find yourself having trouble standing up, sometimes it's because we don't have our toes on the ground. We have the top of our feet planted on the ground, but we want those toes in the ground, the bottom of your toes. That's it. Good. Fifteen. Keep it going. All right, gang, rest, 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 rest. 
Good job. Good job. Oops. Everybody feeling pretty good? That felt great. Good, good. Feeling warm. Are you, oh, are you telling me you want more, Nadira? Oh, yes, always more. Thank always, you. Always more, sir, ward and sore. <laughs> oh. Never enough. All right. Let's see. I'm still standing, so, you know. Yes, you are. Damn right you are. All right. Let's do a quick cool down, guys, and then I will let you be free since we are past time right now, okay? So here we go. Quick cool down. A little cool down here, and then we'll get ready to go. So first thing we're gonna do, bring our hands behind our backs. Reach our hands down towards the ground, lift our chest up, and our shoulders back. And stand tall, stand proud, looking straight ahead. Back with your pole, Jojo. And rest. From there, we're going to take our left arm, reach it up and across our body. All right, a little side body stretch. Make your arm really long, so reach up and over. Over, bend, bend. Good. You're doing what JoJo's doing. You're bending. And relax. Now take that left arm, bring it across your body. All right, your right hand is going to grab your tricep. Pull that arm in close to your body. Give it a big old hug. Relax. And relax. We're going to push our hips back. Let that left arm hang down and just stir the pot. One arm, stir the pot. Left arm. So we do five more in one direction. No, it's okay. And switch directions. And rest. Come on up. Your right arm up and over. And relax. Right arm across your body. Left hand above that elbow. Pull it in tight. And relax. Push our hips back. Let the arm hang. Stir the pie. Go three, two, one, switch directions on your stir in the pot. And rest, slowly roll up. Good. And we're gonna go back to those roll downs. We'll tuck our chin, slowly start to curl down, keeping your legs extended, reaching down for your toes, and slowly roll up, hips, shoulders go back, and then your head can come up, 
And one more time, tuck the chin, shoulders will roll forward, you'll slowly start to curl down, legs stay straight, reaching down for the toes, and we slowly roll back up, set the shoulders back, looking forward, and we'll finish off with a quick reset, just marching in place. Good, in 10 seconds, I'm gonna have you change it over to some butt kickers. In five, four, three, two, butt kickers. Good. There we go. Okay. In five, four, three, and we are done. We are done. Fantastic job. To my Charlottesville crew, I will see you all on Tuesday. Okay. Right, Tuesday? Yep. yep. Tuesday at 10 o'clock. What time? 10 o'clock? Yeah. Yep. Tuesday, Thursday, 10 o'clock. Okay? Gotcha. Awesome. Thanks, Jojo. You are welcome. Thank you're you welcome. very, very much. Thank you. Right, you're welcome. Thank you, Thank you guys. Tuesday. This makes oh. a big difference. Ah, good. Good. I'm glad we can help. Yeah. Good to hear you oh. today. So much better than when we do it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, no surprise, right? <laughs> no surprise. <laughs> hey, Jim. Uh, hi, honey. How are you doing? I'm uh, tired now and sweaty, you know, the, the usual routine. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's all good. It's good to see you, Jojo. Yeah, Thanks a bunch. Too. Good to see Larry. Good to see all of you. Yeah. Do we have any plans? I guess you'll send it in an email. What's that? Possible, re possible reopening? Uh, yeah, we've uh, we've sent some emails. Uh, honey, did you get the survey? I didn't get the survey. No. Well, yeah, I probably did, and I didn't open it. <laughs> <laughs> well, how I won't, dare you? I'll open it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'll open it. Um, yep. Uh, we're we're just we're just waiting for word. We we can't really give any definite uh, responses because. Okay. The and that's what hasn't I thought. given us anything, which I, the word is, we should have some information June 1st. Okay. Because the university is using that information to decide what we're going to do, even though we've, we're deciding on summer school, we've already decided we'll open up back up in late August. But um, as far as our gym facility spaces and what we can do, what we're allowed to do, we're waiting for the announcement that should be made. I guess that's that's Monday that I should hear and have more information. And then we, from there, we will create the schedule regarding how many classes we will have available. Um, and then how we can kind of do a hybrid system because some of our folks can't, still can't go out and be in the building. So still trying to create this online content for you guys. Okay. Okay, okay. so look look for that. Um, hopefully we'll have more of a word on, um, on Monday to be able to distribute out there. Okay. Yeah. That's not about my house. Then, Jojo? Yes, ma'am. I was just wondering if you could, um, I know it's probably a whole bunch of things, but if you could also have some exercises about posture, um, yep. that would be really helpful. Gotcha. Good. I gotcha. Good, good. And, jo and Jojo, is there any thought of, say, only allowing, you know, five athletes at a time uh -huh. to be able to sign up? Yep, yep, that's what we have going on. Yep. Yeah, and yep. then rotate that so that, you know, not the same, everybody gets an opportunity to do some in person and then the rest online. Well, yeah, if you, um, honey, if you look at the, the notes from our, from our meeting, uh, okay. you'll, you'll get some I'm of that. So we'll have at max we'll have six people in a class right um, okay so yeah and that's what i had read so yeah I, that would be lovely that's mm -hmm. what we're doing at church 
You have to yeah. sign up yeah. and then they're asking people to rotate so that the same people aren't the ones who are able to be there six feet apart with masks, right? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have it so that hopefully there's an opportunity for everyone to 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 get in based on how we set it up. So okay. um, less of a rotation and more opportunities. Oh, okay. But Thanks, this, Jojo. We, we got, really appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. All right. What, what about Steve? what about masks? Yeah, so that that will be uh, dependent on what um, the governor says. Uh, I, I know that Sarah and I will most likely be wearing masks, um, and then we'll we'll go from there based off the the mandate. Um, but we'll have all our stipulations of what we can definitely require to do uh, when we send all that information out to you guys. So, but yeah, I, I can I can say that. For the most part, we probably will be wearing masks, mm -hmm. which makes for many of us, it makes it really tough to work out with a mask on. Um, yeah. And that's part of the reason why we have to have this online format for you guys, uh, because if we go in person and we stop doing this, there's going to be a lot of people who are left out of the mix for various <laughs> Steve, Steve, you and I have already, I've already seen your message and everything as well. So I completely understand that. Right. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. Cool. Any other questions? Razorbacks, is your first name TJ? It's Teresa. Teresa. Teresa, yeah. did you get my did you get the email address? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Um, so I'm actually in Winchester area, but oh, okay. um, if I could jump on virtually with you guys a couple of days a week, in addition to Saturdays, that would be awesome. I'm traveling next week, but maybe okay. I can get it the week after. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Shoot, shoot me an email and I can add you on. Okay. I already shot you one and it may say Stan Jackson. It may say Julian Jackson. It, okay. But we share an email. I don't know okay. why we never separated them, but old okay. school, I guess. <laughs> That's what happens. That's what happens when you've been married 37 years. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I think we got some people on this call that have got you beat by at least 10 years. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah, 50, 51 here. So yeah. uh, Honey, you're exactly who I was looking at on that yeah, one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I thought so. I thought so. Yep. All right. Thanks so much. We're going to hop off here All in right. Manchester. Thank See you, Jane. Jane. You are welcome. Right. 55. 55 years. You too, say. All right. See you guys. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you.